really large multi-tenant application and you have several users and you want to create custom notifications that will wish them a happy birthday the day before their birthday occurs. So you want to create this notification, personalize it to that employee or user who is having a birthday. So from within here, you have your hello user, but you want this to actually say the employee's name or the user's name. Now, the problem with this is, while we could create a HTML emailer and customize it within there, that's a very static way of doing this because the user will not be able to customize this at all. So today we're gonna look at how they can customize this themselves and then using string interpolation we can uh, create the format and the text with the information that we want to inject in. Alright, to get started let's go into our gem file and add the Floric gem. The Floric gem is a great gem. I'll link to the GitHub repository in the show notes but it's where we can take our text and use some mustaches here to put in our field. Now you don't necessarily want to open this up so the client can put anything in here because that could pose a security risk. All right, so let's run bundle and don't forget to restart your Rails application to pick up the new gem. So the first thing that we need to do is go into our model for the user and type floric do and here we can pass in our attributes that we're going to open up to Floric. So let's call string first name. And let's also call the last name. And what this will allow us to do is it'll allow us to pass in the user dot first name. And then we can also pass in the user dot last name. However, if we want to make this a bit simpler for the client and just allow them to do full name, we don't have a full name attribute on our model because we have individual attributes for the first name and last name. However, we do want to make this a little bit simpler to just be able to call user.fullName. And we can do this by uh, just putting parentheses around here, passing in mustaches here, and then we can just use the string interpolation here to call the first name and then the last name. All right, so I'm gonna pull up the Rails console and I'm just going to create a string here. So string equals happy birthday. And then we use our double mustaches and user dot full name. And let's just test this out. So let's create a user equals user dot first. And this pulls up our John Doe. And from here we can type floric dot convert, pass in our string. And then we can also pass in our user is the user. And now we have happy birthday John Doe. So back in our notifications, we can take our notification here and just simply change this from user to user dot full name. And we're done. So whenever you go to render, this string here, you'll just want to pass in the floor convert, the string, and then the parameters that you want to pass through. And it will recognize it and then call on the attributes. Let's take this a little bit further and say that in addition to displaying the full name, the user also wants to say, you are now however many years old. And we can do that by adding in another string into our model. So back in our model, let's create another string where we are just calculating the age, taking the date dot today year minus the birthday dot year. And this will return the person's age. Alright, so back in our console here, we can just type happy birthday user dot full name you are now user.h years old. So let's go ahead and set that string and then let's go back up to our floor convert. Notice we're not passing in any additional variables here. We're just still passing in the user 
and then it says happy birthday John Doe you're now 35 years old so I really recommend that you check out the github page because there are many other things that you can do you can create relations where on this relation so the user has uh, belongs to a com country and we create that relationship here the country has its own floric definition of the name the TLD and the currency and you can see here where you can then reference user.country.name for saying something like, Hello Dave Smith, welcome to Germany. There's also a lot, lot of other different built-in formatters that you can use. Today we just looked at the strings, but there are some other options that you can do with numerics. And here's some built-in values that you can use, like doubling the value or tripling the value. Arrays, date and time stamps. And you can also create your own formatters. The formatters here, like add five, you can just create a pass in your value and then add the number five to it. So there's several different options that you have here. Check out the documentation and see if you can come up with some pretty cool stuff here. All right, thank you for watching this episode.